Bonjour, you welcome back to my channel. So this is Learn French with Swin. Is it the first time you're stumbling on my video? I say big welcome. You've always been with me. I say big thank you. And if you are wondering what's up on this platform, this is your platform for everything French. Okay. So if you want to know what's happening, do you to check out my previous video? If you find them useful, give them thumbs up. T shirt loved ones. And don't forget, it's that subscription button. Hit the subscription button now. this video we'll be looking at how to read in French language so previously I made videos on tips to reading in French language which will help us navigate through reading and subsequent topics that would help us navigate through reading as well such as accent diphthongs and others so you could just click on them if you've not watched those videos so before we start for today's video I've divided this video into various sections okay so that when you see my subsequent videos you won't be wondering what's up what's person doing okay so i decided to divide them into smaller bits if you can follow me through these videos on how i'll be breaking them down subsequently because by the time you are through with all the videos i'm telling you you should be able to read by yourself without any orders without any difficulties yeah i mean it <laughs> okay so we'll be looking at some of our diphthongs which are very necessary in reading so that those are the sounds i'll be breaking down into two for us and our diphthongs we have eight of them just like you're seeing on the screen so i'll be dividing them into two two bits Nevertheless, doesn't mean that only the things I'll be looking at. I'll be looking at some of those videos that I said I've made earlier. I'll be looking at accent. Of course, French is an accented language, so you can't read French without seeing accents on some of the words. So I'll be talking about it. So I'm making mention of some of our basic rules as well that will help us navigate through French and these sounds. So I hope you get it. So before we start reading, let me recap again on some of these things we should put into mind before we start now is always learn to break down your words into syllable second the second tips i want to give you towards reading a french language is do not read french with an intention of knowing the meaning hmm, what is he saying yes i repeat as a beginner don't say i want to learn how to read french first when you want to learn how to read french don't learn with an intention of saying you want to understand the meaning of the text and the third one which will be leading us into our reading for today's video is our sound z when do we have the sound z in french language and we'll be looking at when we see the word o u o u in english and o u in french what sound does it give us? It gives us the sound O. Okay, so we'll be looking at how it sounds in words. I'm looking at when do we have our sound Z. We have our sound Z in French whenever we have S in between two vowels. Okay, so whenever we have our S in between two vowels, can come in two ways. One is either it is in a single word. For example, I have maison. In maison, maison is a single word. Okay, so we could have maison S in between two vowels. Maison instead of maison, okay, and it could be first we have our article and the word that is the noun, our article plus our noun, okay. So, when the noun that is coming after the article is a vowel and there is s at the back, for example, you have the plural article which is le, l e s, and then the next one that's coming in front of it is a vowel, so you have s in between two vowels as well. So, you could have a liaison there, so it's either it is in a single word or together to form a liaison. So those are the two possible times you could have S in between two vowels. Okay, so now let's start today's reading. Je viens de recevoir. Just like I said, if you can't pronounce a long word together, you break it down into syllables. We have je viens de recevoir un appel pour passer un entretien d'embauche. Okay, so we said we'll be looking at OU, which is O sound. Okay, so je viens de recevoir un appel pour passer un entretien d'embauche. Oh, quelle bonne nouvelle. And so that is our first word for today. We have our OU, which gives the sound O. Don't forget, it gives the sound O. So we have our N plus O. N, O plus 
N does N, okay? U, N, okay? So we have N, Vel. Don't forget, N, Vel. Okay, so, oh, quel bon nouvel. Can aura-t-il lieu? Mardi, dans quatre jours, si tu savais comme je suis nerveuse. Okay, so let's break it down into two. And there we have our S in between two vowels for today. Okay? So we have U, S, E at the end. So we have our U, S, E at the end. And we can see that S is in between two vowels. U is a vowel. E is a vowel. So therefore, S automatically gives us the sound Z. And that's why we have nervous and not nervous. Instead of sound, we're having Z sound. Nervous. Okay, so let's continue. We have Ça va aller. Je peux t'envoyer des conseils et des idées par mail. Pour, okay, so let's note again. We have our OU sound, okay, which is our diphthong and it gives the sound OU. So, P plus OU, we have pour, okay, pour que tu te sentes plus rassuré. Okay, so now let's note our accent is there, and that is our E accent aigu, which gives us the sound A. Because accent aigu gives the sound A, so we have la sur re. J'ai passé. We are coming in contact with the sound again, the sound A, which is our E accent aigu. So that's why we have passé. Okay, not just pass or passe. We have passé. Why? Because of the accent. Accent aigu. E accent aigu gives us the sound A. So we have J'ai passé beaucoup. We have our O sound again for coup. Beaucoup. So we have our O sound. C plus O. So we have our C, which is one of our rules. That if you have your C without a CD underneath it, it gives the sound K. K. But if your C is having a CD underneath it, it should be giving us the sound s, s. Like, for example, we have Francais. Okay? So because there's a CD underneath it, it's giving us the sound Francais instead of Francais. Okay? So that's why we have beaucoup. K, 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 the k and the U sound. Beaucoup. Okay? We have beaucoup d'entretien. Cela pourra... Can we say our U again is coming here? You can see so many U, U sound. We have our O, U. We have our P plus U, which is PU. So we have PURA, SU, JU. We can see our U, U sound. So take it gradually. You have your T plus U. We have SU, T, U, TU, JU. We have our J plus U. We have JU. Okay? SU, JU, TE SERVI. Okay, so we have oh oui merci cela serait vraiment gentil pas de problème sophie je t'embrasse la veille de son entretien sophie avait répété we can see the a sound as well we have our e a sound to give that is sound a don't forget sophie avait répété des dizaines de fois des phrases et mots clés more clay, as you can see, the A sound as well. E a sound to give. So it gives us the sound A, clay, A. Okay? And we have our C that I may mention. Or when we have C with that CD underneath, it gives us K. That's why we have clay. Okay? More clay. Elle avait appris par cœur une présentation. We can see our A sound to give A, pre. And we can see our S in between two vowels as well. The A accent aigu. E is a vowel. We have S and we have another E without any accent at the back of it again. Come to that our S is in between two vowels now. So therefore, this S will be giving us the sound Z. So we have presentation. Okay? So presentation. The sound par cou. So we have our cou as well. Le C, O, U. We have our K plus U. So we have Kou, par Kou. Le C, loisir. So we have our S in between two vowels as well. We have I, 
which is our I in English language is a vowel. We have S and we have another I afterwards. I, which is our E in French language, is a vowel. So S in between two vowels give us the sound Z. And so that's why we have Lua Z. Okay? So let's continue. We have Elle avait appris par cœur une présentation de son parcours, de ses loisirs, de ses qualités. Don't forget our E à son aigu. De ses défauts. Ok, our A e again. D plus E. Give us défaut. Elle avait également. Écoute, si our E à son aigu, elle avait également. Également choisi. We could say our S in between two vowels there as well. Choisi. We could say that E is a vowel. The E that's afterwards, coming afterwards as well is a vowel. And we have S in between. So we have choisi. Également choisi avec soin la tenue qu'elle allait porter. Il fallait quelque chose. We could see S in between two vowels in this word. Okay, we have our O to be a vowel. S is coming after and our E notes O and E is two different sounds. So we have O and E. So our S in between these two but we give us the sound Z. So we have shows instead of shows. S and that gives us the sound shows Z, the Z sound. Okay? Il fallait quelque chose de professionnel et à la fois pas trop sobre. Puisque l'entreprise, can we see our entreprise there is having S in between two vowels? Okay, so we have l'entreprise était our A e à son aigu. L'entreprise était une entreprise jeune, dynamique et surtout. You can see our O sound again. T plus O, tout, surtout. Okay, dans le domaine. So make sure that if an E is ending a word, you pronounce the last letter before the E. Et situé dans le domaine de la décoration moderne. Can we see our E à Santigui as well? The décoration moderne. Les concepts principaux autour, can we see our O sound as well? O, then T plus O. Autour du D, our E à Santigui, D, V, Développement. Au-dessus du développement des produits sans une utilisation. Our S in between two vowels is there. We could have E and A. And our S in between, we have utilisation des couleurs intelligentes ainsi que la promotion du bien-être. Elle avait donc mis de côté son tailleur bleu marine qui ne convenait pas vraiment à l'état d'esprit de vivre des coups. Sophie avait prévu, don't forget our E à son aigu, de porter un pantalon carotte. The couleur, can we see our O sound? And don't forget our C without a C D. Here is the sound K. That's why we have cou couleur, couleur bleu, the couleur bleu, ainsi que O couleur crème. Elle complète, can we see our E E accent aigu? We have elle compléterait le tout. Ok, our O sound is there as well. Le tu avec une paire de boucles d'oreilles. Ok, can we see our O sound as well? Our boucles d'oreilles dorées. Et un joli sautoir en bambou. So we have our O sound there, bambou. Après avoir, so we have après avoir, can you see? This one is not even a, is not even an acid pool. Okay, so we have après, which is our adverb. Okay, so we have après avoir. Okay, selling us an adverb of time. So après avoir, you could see that s is ending our après, and we have another word coming after, which is a verb, which is 
which is starting with a vowel. So we have après avoir, okay, S in between two vowels, après avoir avalé une assiette de pâtes à la sauce tomate. Sophie se so coucha. Can you see our U sound? Say plus U. Okay, so don't forget the rules and regulations I'm telling us. Okay? Coucha pour, can you see our PU as well? Pour être en forme le lendemain. Son réveil, can you see our E as an aigu? Réveil, son A à 6h15. Sa nuit avait était difficile. Elle n'avait cessé, ok, de penser à son entretien. So remember what e a son tegi, which is a cessé, ok, de penser à son entretien. Un bol de café, can you really remember what e a son tegi, don't let us forget our e sound. Un bol de café englouti. So don't forget our O sound. So we have un glouti. E un tartin. De beurre dégusté. Can we say our E sound? So we have two E accent aigu in this particular word. Dégusté. Sophie parti prendre le métro. Can we say our E accent aigu sound? Which is the sound E. Pour se rendre pour se rendre. So we have our pour, our o -u. Okay? Pour se rendre sur le lieu du rendez-vous. Quand vous avez ou ça dans le avoir V plus ou, we have vous. Le trajet dura 35 minutes. Pour Paris, quand vous avez ou ça, cela n'était pas trop. Cela paraissait même assez rapide. Durant ces minutes de parcours, don't forget our usant, Sophie essaya de se détendre. Don't forget our E à son début, détendre. En pratiquant des exercices. So now, can we have an S in between two vowels for a liaison? This time around, this is an article plus another word coming in front of it, which is a noun. So we have our exercises, the exercises, the respiration profonde. Il était temps de descendre du métro. Don't forget our E accent aigu, which gives us a sound. Sophie graphie les marches à un rythme soutenu. Don't forget our O sound. S plus O soutenu. We have our L ne voulait. Don't forget our O sound. O U voulait surtout. Don't forget our O sound as well. Pas arriver en retard devant le bâtiment. Son que battait la chamade. Elle entra. Elle se présenta. Don't forget this our S in between two vowels. And we have our accent take you as well. Which gives us the sound A. So we have présenta. À l'accueil. Et fut. I. Me. Can we say our A sound A. Me. Diasman. Immédiatement conduit à travers des couloirs. Ne forget our ou sent couloir. Pas une femme sympathique, plutôt cordiale. Elle la fit installer dans une petite pièce. Note, non, you can say dans une. But this time around, S is not in between two vowels. So these are exceptions. So if you want to read where in French language, you say dans une, not dans une petite pièce. Dans so right, we're not having E accent aigu. We are having E accent grave. So we can have our pièce. Accent tegu gives us the sound A. Accent grave gives us the sound E. So that's why we have pièce. 
ok let's note où se trouvait un bureau et deux chaises sophie avait les mains moites et senti une goutte let's not forget our o sound oh you give the sound o so we have goutte de sweat perlé sur sa tempe gauche bonjour don't forget our o sound bonjour Sophie, je suis Karine. Bienvenue chez Viva Deco. Merci d'avoir accepté. This is the A sound, which is our E accent aigu. Accepté de nous rencontrer. Karine paraissait joyeuse. Elle fit un large sourire. You don't forget our who sent à Sophie. Ce qui la relaxa instantanément. Don't forget our E à son aigu, which gives us the sound A. We have bonjour Karine. Merci à vous. Don't forget our O sound for O and our bon ju. Sur soyons nous. Don't forget our O sound. Si cela te convient. Avec plaisir, Karine. Don't forget our S in between two vowels. Plaisir, Karine. Alors, dis-moi, quelles sont tes motivations pour Venir. So don't forget our O sound. O U O. Pour venir travailler chez Viva de Co. Votre entreprise. Don't forget our S in between two vowels. Est dynamique, jeune et paraît ambitieuse. Don't forget our S in between two vowels. J'aimerais énormément. Don't forget our E à son aigu. Okay, so we have E E. Énormément. Vous apportez. So we have our O sound for our vous and our S in between two vowels for a liaison. So we have vous apportez mes compétences. Don't forget our E E à son aigu. Pour, we have our O sound, que nous, our O sound, réalisions. So we have our E à son aigu and our S in between two variables. So réalisions des projets ensemble. Que peux-tu nous apporter? We have our O sound there and our S in between two variables to have zarporté, ok? Nous zarporté. Ok, so we have je travaillé, don't forget our E à son tegu, which gives us the sound E, travaillé E, en tant que D, don't forget, E à son tegu, décoratrice d'intérieur, E à son tegu, il dit as well, durant quatre années, don't forget our E, our E, that is E à son tegu, which gives us the sound E. J'ai E, another E as well, également développé. We have our E, E, deux fois. That's our E à son aigu, two times. Développé des projets dans le cadre d'une association aidant. Les personnes en situation précaire. So we have our E, sans dire, we have our E à son aigu, ok? À avoir un intérieur plus joli. So we have our E accent aigu. Don't forget. Très bien. This time around, we are having our E accent graph. And our E accent graph gives us the sound E. Accent aigu gives us the sound E. Accent graph gives us the sound E. Yes, so we have très et bien. Quels sont tes loisirs? Don't forget our S in between two vowels. Je pratique la course à pied. Je cours régulièrement des 10 km. Don't forget our E accent graph. Eh, 
kilomètres des semi-marathons et je fais du yoga. Super! Sais-tu que des cours de yoga sont donnés? Don't forget our E à saint aigu Ici, toutes les semaines? Non, pas du tout. Mais j'aime beaucoup l'idée. Don't forget E à saint aigu Si jamais j'intègre, don't forget our E à saint graf de saint Eh, j'intègre votre entreprise. Don't forget our S in between two verbs. J participerai avec plaisir. Don't forget our S in between two verbs. Du coup, don't forget our O sound. O. Du coup, je t'inscris pour. Don't forget our O sound. Le cours de mardi prochain. Sophie sourire. Don't forget our O sound. Sourire. Elle avait enfin décroché. Donc, pour être avoir et sans et et décro, on a et ché et décroché un emploi. So, I hope you find this video useful. So, do well to always read and internalize what you have learned. If you have any question as regarding these sounds that we have learned for today's video, do well to write me at the comment section. I'll be glad to reply you. See you till the next reading. But before then, if you like this video, don't forget to, uh, to give it a thumbs up, to share to love, and don't forget hit that subscription button. Yeah, hit the subscription button. So see you to my next one. Au revoir.